Another day, another project. Today's project, though, is to get our rig more road ready for Alaska. I'm trying to upgrade the suspension on our rig. Now, our rig came with leaf springs, and then there's shackles that are attached to an Equiflex system in the middle. It's a pretty common system used nowadays in fifth wheels and travel trailers. But uh, one of the one of the weakest points in this setup is your shackles and then the bolts that hold everything together. The bolts aren't greasable and then there's a bushing that goes around the bolt. That bushing, they usually put a plastic bushing in there that wears out pretty quickly. So this upgrade kit here uh, takes your quarter inch shackle and replaces it with a half inch shackle. And then it also gives you a greasable bolt with a bronze bushing. And the bronze bushing should last much longer than a plastic bushing. And also making the bolt greasable is going to allow some more flex and smoother wear. So we're going to start by pulling the tires off and make sure that we're on a good hard surface. Because we're going to jack up one side of the rig and pull the tires off so the axles are loose. And then start replacing the bolts. Hoping this goes smooth. We'll find out. All right, slides in. Next step, we've got a stable surface here. See these shackles in here? We've got to get at them. So first step is going to be to take these wheels off so we can get access to it. We're also going to be using some bottle jacks to uh, brace our frame up. We can get underneath here. Let you see under here. That's the frame that we're going to put the bottle jacks on and uh, jack it up to uh, give it some stability. All right, let's go. All right, as you can see, we got the wheels off now. So I wanted to give you a little better idea of what this looked like inside here. Let me see this right here. These are the these are the shackles that are going to be replaced. I don't know if you can see the size of them there. But uh, this is the new shackle. It's a half inch diameter shackle. And then the bolts have zerks on them as well to allow them to be greased. You can see, I don't know if you can see a little hole in there. Right in between my fingers. That's where the grease comes out. Trying to loosen it up. Also, before I forget, I want to show you how I jacked this thing up. Um, I've still got it connected to the truck, just for stability, forwards and backwards, so it doesn't roll on me. And then on the side here, I've got a bottle jack there on one side. And then, as you can see, on both axles, I've got a bottle jack. That's not necessary, but it just makes it easier. And coming on this side, I've got a uh, got another bottle jack to hold the frame up on this side as well. So that gives you a stability because your axles are going to come loose when uh, when you when you release the leaf springs. All right, so I told you uh, what we're doing is replacing the nylon bushings with brass bushings. I don't have one here, but you can see on this leaf spring over here. We've already driven in a brass bushing there. And if we look at this leaf spring, this eye here, that's the nylon bushing that was uh, stock. I'm actually surprised. I thought it would be in worse condition than it is. But uh, the, the tricky part is trying to get that thing out of there because it's snug in there pretty good. So this one, what we ended up doing is taking a punch and really just ripping it apart just taking the punch and knocking the thing out until it finally came. So we're going to do that again.
All right, so there it is. It's a nylon bushing. And then uh, we'll show you how to get this brass bushing in here. So these are the brass bushings that you replace them with. Now you can't just simply stick it in there because it's a pretty hard fit. It's pretty tight. And because brass is a soft metal, you don't want to just bang on it with a hammer because you'll nick it all up. So a trick that I was taught is that you can take a socket, it's just a little bit larger in diameter, and stick it inside there to keep from damaging this rim. When you stick it on there, use something like a C-clamp here, unless you've got an actual uh, bushing driver, but you can use a C-clamp to push your bushing in. So the C-clamp just allows you to slowly put pressure on it and work it in to the eye of that leaf spring. That's all we're going to get with the socket. As you can see, it's driving it in pretty good. That last little bit, just put the C-clamp directly on it. That's it. go. So we'll test to make sure that everything's still around. We can fit our new bolt in there. As you can see it's got a zerk on the end for greasing it. Okay, one side complete. You see this bolt here was swapped out. These here, these here. You can see the new shackles in place there on both sides. And then also this uh, center bolt holding the Equiflex in place uh, was swapped out. And then of course the one on the other side as well done we're gonna swap to the other side and do the same thing all over again all right other side done Let me show you here looks the same as the other side obviously but New shackles in place. New bolts with zerks in place. So it's a matter of putting the tires back on. And this project is complete. All right, so last step is you've got to do a torque uh, on the lug nuts. If you do them too tight, I've heard of uh, lug nuts stripping the studs and the wheels will come off, uh, but obviously you don't want to do it too loose, loose either. So I've got a cheap uh, torque wrench I got online 
that I use for cases like this. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this installation. Uh, the reason I do this is because hopefully it takes a little fear out of a project like this. It takes time, but it's just a matter of loosening things up and uh, replacing it with new uh, with new bolts and nuts. So give it a shot. See you next time.